If you have to touch up the finish on something, how do you identify what the finish is? Stay tuned and I'll show you how. As a furniture repair business, we're opening the doors to our workshop to show you the tools and techniques to repair furniture. What I need to do is take that apart, repair it, and put it back together so I can get this chair in working order. We give you tips to make your repair projects easier. Let's get into the workshop and start fixing furniture. There are different types of wood finishes and most of them don't work well together. If you're touching up a finish or putting a new coat of finish over top, you need to identify the type of wood finish that you're working with. There's a specific sequence of tests to do. And the first thing we're going to do is test for an oil finish. Typical oil finishes are boiled linseed oil, tongue oil, or Danish oil. And these finishes are easy to test. I'll show you how. I've got a piano bench seat here that I'm working on and I need to figure out the finish. Here I've got a spot where the hinges go, so I've got a concealed spot I can play with the finish. So I've got some tongue oil and what I do is just take a little bit out of the container and I'm going to put a drop on the surface. I've left the oil in here for about two minutes and it's just staying on the surface. It's not absorbing, so it tells me it's not an oil finish. Another hint is the furniture itself. Fine furniture and mid-century modern furniture are common to have oil finishes on them. So take a look at the furniture. Here's an example of an oil finish this is a cutting board and oil finishes you can normally feel the wood grain through because they don't have a film on top of them. This is another piece I've just recently finished with tongue oil and you can see here the grain pattern through the wood. If you've done the oil test and your finish isn't oil, the next thing to test for is shellac. Now it's important to do these tests in the right order because some solvents work on multiple finishes. To test for a shellac finish you need to use a drop of denatured alcohol. Same process as before and let it sit for about two minutes. Then dab it dry with a rag or paper towel. If the surface is sticky or mushy, it's a shellac finish. If it's not, keep on testing. This has been on here for a little bit, and let's see. No, that's just wiping up. So this is not a shellac finish, so we need to keep testing. Shellac finishes are common in older furniture and antiques, so use that as your hint when you're looking at this. So we know right now we have a finish that's not an oil finish, is not a shellac finish. What we're going to test for now is a lacquer finish. And lacquer finishes are common in modern furniture. They're used in factories because the finish dries extremely quickly and supports a high rate of production. To test for a lacquer finish, you need to use a lacquer thinner. Same process as before. Dip a bit of the finish on and see how it reacts. After about 20 seconds, dab it with a rag and see if it's sticky. If it is, you have a lacquer finish. If it isn't, you have a polyurethane or varnish finish. Here it's sticky, and you can see it actually changing the finish. So what we've got here is a lacquer finish. I'm happy now that I know what my finish is, but what if this test didn't work? It would mean that I've got either a polyurethane or a varnish finish. These are finishes that create a plastic film on top of the wood. And because of that, it takes very harsh chemicals to wear through those. That's why it's important to work through this in a process of elimination. Start with oil, and then shellac, and then lacquer. And if those don't work, you're ending up with a polyurethane or a varnish finish. Here's an example of a worn finish on water skis. It's part of a water ski shelf that I built. You can see how the finish peels away from the wood surface. This doesn't happen with oil, shellac, or lacquer. If the finish you're inspecting is peeling, it's likely a polyurethane or varnish finish. Another tip for you is to try and chip the finish. Because polyurethanes and varnishes sit on top of the surface, they're more apt to chip than other finishes. Now that you understand how to test the finish and identify the finish you're working on, how do you repair those? I'll show you that in the same order I walk through the sequence. An oil finish is easy to repair. It just requires adding another coat of oil. On this cutting board, I'm using mineral oil to restore the finish that protects the wood. For shellac and lacquer finishes, when you add a new layer on top, it softens the layer below and creates one continuous film. In order to successfully do that, you need to make sure you clean off the surface of any grease or oils. So for shellac, I use mild detergent like a dish soap in some warm water and clean off the surface. For lacquer, I use mineral spirits. If you have an area where a finish is damaged, like this panel bench seat, 
I've got a detailed video to show you how to repair a lacquer finish. I'll leave a link below. Polyurethane and varnish finishes are different in that that top layer that you add sits on top of the previous one. So what you need to do is properly prepare the surface to make sure that it has something to bond to. I restored a Windsor chair that was a reproduction piece and it was finished with polyurethane. I'll show you a clip here of how I repaired that finish. You can see on this leading edge here that there's some finish worn off. This is a polyurethane, so it needs to be sanded down with a 400 grit paper and then wiped down with mineral spirits so it's prepared for the next coat of polyurethane. Now I finished this with a semi-gloss polyurethane and the shine here is a little bit higher than the rest of the chair. So I need to knock that back and what I do is I use 4 aught steel wool, super fine steel wool, just to rub it down and take away a bit of that shine. What this does is puts tiny scratches in the surface and takes away a bit of that shine. If you enjoyed this video, you might be interested in this video here on Matching Wood Stain. We're building a supportive community about furniture repairs. Please help us by sharing our channel with others. Thanks for watching Fixing Furniture.